If you've ever stopped and smiled at the dogs in a pet store window, you've probably been tempted to take one home. But did you realize the dollars you'd spend on one of those cute little puppies would support a really ugly industry? You see, almost all the puppies for sale at your local mall were churned out by breeding facilities called puppy mills. There are thousands of these mills across the United States, supplying stores with half a million puppies a year. It's all about quantity and profit, with little, if any, care given to the individual animals. In fact, the conditions common to most mills are so inhumane, the dogs are left in various states of physical and mental anguish. Just how cruel is the pet shop business? See for yourself. So I would have a free hand on the phone. Why does it be so mad me for? And you think all these dogs are coming from puppy mills? Yeah. Every associate that works for Bolivia. Sorry? Every associate that works for Bolivia. All the salespeople believe it? Yep. So you're saying that the manager has the dogs fed with adult food? Yeah. And what was the reason? So they don't grow grow as fast as puppy food mm -hmm. because in puppy food there's more fat protein for them to grow. So it's to retard their growth to keep them on the shelf longer? Yeah. In essence? Well, why do you think you need all this medicine? Because uh, the dogs come in sick all the time. Uh, they're given out on every single day. What would you say the percentage of Dogs that are sick that come in, puppies that are sick that come in. At least fifty percent. So at least half the dogs. Yeah. After they come from. Not. It won't directly be the same day, but eventually. Right. They get sick because it's been harboring harboring in their system, and this dog is getting sick. Oh yeah. It's got mucus in the eyes. I just wiped the nose. It was runny, so he's got an upper respiratory infection that's forming. And a lot of times when we see this and we show the managing staff, they just say, oh, if the dog gets out here, gets out sooner, the f better they'll get quicker. So if the dog is sold quicker, it'll get better quicker? Yeah, that's their philosophy. Um, and what are we looking at here? Uh, these are promos. If you sell the dog um, at a certain price, you get a cash out, quote unquote, bonus, but it still comes out of your paycheck because you got to be taxed for it. Uh-huh. Um, so right here it shows you if you sell their dogs for over four hundred dollars the price that's listed, uh -huh. you get a thirty-five dollar promo. Right. With the crate, the customer is paying a lot more money than what they originally did if they were just to buy the dog for what the already up price that we're selling it because we get these dogs for like um, anywhere from three to five hundred dollars mm -hmm. depending on the breed. These are the crates that they come in, and these are the bowls. And all the time, there will be no water in one of it. It's all been um, kind of like, I guess, falls over to here, and all the food is soaked in water. And if there's a little bit of water in here. It's really dirty, usually with feces or um, paper and food coming over to the other side. Susan, so in charities of waterborne parasite, that's what you think they're picking up here? Or? From tra if they Trans didn't already get it, yeah. I think it's for transport. Okay. And so, and all all the crates that they come in, they're they're plastic. They're not metal, do you think? Or no, they're they're all plastic. They're all plastic. They yeah. sit in the plastic crates all the way from the Midwest to here. This was this just happened a couple months ago. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Probably not. This do you have a bad? Do you have parvo outbreaks here in the store? Or do you know how they, I guess they had a really big one a year or so ago. So this you got another case right here, parvo. Wow, that's. And the thing is, when they get this, mm -hmm. this amount that's reimbursed comes out of the employee's paycheck. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that you so, get? So the employee has to pay that. 
we we the store works off a commission. Uh huh. So they take that amount out of your sales. So let's say you have just that amount to make nine percent, and they deduct that from your paycheck. You make eight percent. So you sign a contract stating that if a dog comes back with vet bills, they take it out of your paycheck. Uh, how, that doesn't seem very fair. You, you have no control over whether that dog was... That's so just the way it is. We signed so an agreement that they are deducted from our paycheck. So how do you feel about you know, working in the straight commission job? It seems to me people would take a... Uh, and maybe be a little more dishonest. Because if, you, if, if, if you're wor working on straight commission, it seems like you've got an incentive not to be so honest with the customer sometimes. Yeah, I mean, like if, if we can tell that a dog is catching a URI, mm -hmm. we'll be like, oh, they'll be f they'll be fine. And if they do get sick, you're covered in the first 15 days. So that, like, at the time, because it's um, the customer is in an emotional state, they don't really think about it. That's the whole basis on this company is that you're selling on emotions. What was wrong with that dog is that... Um, on the dog's penis, the hole was so microscopic it could not urinate, so it would just leak out. Ooh. So um, the couple, they returned the dog, we took it to the vet, the, they did a surgery on it and they gave the dog away to someone in the hospital. And the dog's completely healthy now, it's fine, and um, it just needed that corrective surgery, but the fact that the dog came in like that... It came in like, it came in like that. Do you, do you think that the... Uh that a responsible breeder would have noticed that before they sent the puppy in? Well, I feel like they would have because it would have been checked by a vet. Because mm -hmm. my understanding is that responsible breeders have the puppies checked by veterinarians. Mm -hmm. This dog right here right. is a miniature pincher that had a heart murmur mm -hmm. or something wrong with the heart and they had surgery. They actually had two different surgeries because the first time um, the a, not our vet, but a different vet did it. Um, the dog started to crash. The person who was on meds yesterday, I don't trust him enough to have done it. Okay, so right now, as of right now, it's, a, it's the 13th, and his boss and Terry were supposed to have gotten panic here and never did. Uh, he possibly, maybe, maybe possibly never did. Yeah. Then what about this? On the, we have a chihuahua here that was supposed to get once a day for six days, and it looks like they, they skipped a day on the 7th? or they Possibly. Yeah. That's also what, see, that's what's the biggest problem with the medications people do, and they don't sign them off, or they don't do them and just sign it off. Yeah, these two dogs are from different breeders. Yeah, one of them was in the back uh, yesterday and uh -huh. was released. I believe the, yesterday was the release date or the day before, and the other one was in there, had a URI two weeks ago. How am I supposed to know if I'm selling the dog, which dog? I can see that you could easily make a mistake out of that. There were two months old as of yesterday, and they got here on Wednesday. Technically, they're not supposed to be taken away from their. Well, they can. They're weaned off of their mom at six months of, or six weeks of age, but we're not legally allowed to sell them until they're eight weeks old. Right. So they've been here since Wednesday, and they could have been sold on Wednesday. And they would have been less than eight weeks old on Wednesday. Yeah, because they just turned eight weeks old yesterday. Yesterday, okay. Why don't you explain what this is? Um, this is the pet report log, which shows you the dog's information. This right here shows the purchasing information. This is what they purchased the actual puppy for. This is the delivery free fee and the crate fee and the total cost for the entire company mm -hmm. before uh, getting the dog getting here is $375. Mm -hmm. And this is the price that they sell it for to the customer or more. So it wholesales for 375 and it retails for? 1300 well, Almost 1300 yeah. Yep, this is for a poodle, uh, 360 and selling it for 1200 the dogs that go in that window, so right. they just put them all in this one. There's actually another dog in there, but that dog is now in the back. So whatever that dog's back there for, they've all been exposed to that dog. So one of the dogs with a possible URI was with these dogs, they've all been exposed. Whatever. It could be URI, Giardia, Coccidia, I don't know. There's no label on it. And there's a requirement to use an animal control panel. They can get in trouble for not identifying an issue with the dog. Any store that sells dogs is a puppy mill because responsible breeders don't sell their dogs to stores because they have to deal with enough issues with state laws trying to pass currently that they're not going to 
jeopardize their hobby, which is occasional breeding. So yeah. your whole purchase with a puppy from a store is a complete lie. You don't know any truth behind it in regards to where they come from to in terms of in-home medical at the store that they actually receive. So buyer beware. And now we're bringing them to an emergency shelter where they're going to be treated by caring veterinarians and they are going to be placed in wonderful homes. And each and every one of these dogs is going to have the chance to become the kind of dog they never had the opportunity to be in this horrible, cruel puppy mill. We've just introduced you to a world that most people don't know about. A world hidden behind websites and pet stores. This is the world for these dogs for weeks, months, and many of them years. And unfortunately, it was too late for those who have lived their entire lives in this facility. Many of these animals were in dire straits. How do you feel? Um, we're happy that we're able to help the animals today.